Welcome back to another episode of Google Tech Tips. I am Mr. Vaca and today I'll be going over a very brief tutorial of Google Classroom and all of the awesome different functions and abilities that it has and some of the questions that both students and parents have asked me over the summer. So to get to Google Classroom, the very first thing that you need to do is log into your Google account. My first step is go to google.com. Once you're logged in, then I want you to click on what I like to call the waffle iron. You'll see that waffle iron in the very top right corner up here. Then you want to search for the icon that looks just like this, Google Classroom. If you can't find it, there might be a little button down below after the last row of apps that says show more. If you click that show more, you will then find Google Classroom pop up below. Once you click that icon, you will then be sent to your Google Classroom homepage. This is what a student's classroom looks like if you are in the middle school or high school level where you bounce between different classrooms for each subject with a different teacher. If you are a elementary or primary student, you will most likely have only one classroom, which means you would only see one box here. Each one of these boxes is a different classroom if you are a middle school or high school student. So let's take a look at one of the classrooms where I am the student. What you want to do is click on the title of the class to go specifically to that classroom. So this is the student view of the classroom. I am a student, a member of the science committee, and the science department chair is the teacher for this classroom. As you can see, right here, the big main section is all of the different posts, announcements, and big items that are coming up in the classroom. This is like what you would say is a Facebook feed or a Twitter feed where you will see chronologically all the different things or activities going on in the classroom. The left hand side of the screen is broken into three categories. The top box in the top left corner shows what work is due soon the next upcoming assignments. Right below the work due box, you will then see another section that has classroom folder, classroom calendar, and your Google calendar. The teacher will put either the syllabus or other classroom materials, maybe their hands out, handouts in the Google classroom folder. So any materials that you maybe missed if you were absent, you click on that and you will see everything that the teachers posted. They also will have in their a classroom schedule or classroom calendar, all the different assignments when they are due, maybe special events in there, and you can then link that through your Google Calendar located right below so that when you open up your calendar, you can see, hey, this class has this due, this class has this item due, so on and so forth. The final box on the left side, the biggest one, is all of the different topics that are going on in the class. Maybe the teacher has broken it up into different groups. Maybe it's all the different reading groups within a class. Classroom. And so group A will have a specific um, project that they're working on, or maybe they want to talk about a brand new discussion coming up in the next week. So students can easily navigate the different topics going on in the classroom in this section below. Some teachers will break up their topic section by introduction, syllabus, different projects. Other teachers will have every lesson is a different topic. So your topic section will really be dependent on your teacher. If you want to go back to see the other classes that you are enrolled in, all you want to do is click the three horizontal lines in the top left corner and that will bring another menu down and you could choose Choose your class right from there or if you wanted to go back to the Google Classroom homepage just click the tab that says classes and that's it for today Google Classroom is a very easy way to keep track of all the different assignments that you have coming up and keep yourself organized so let me know down in the comments below if you have any other questions or would like me to cover any other topics within Google Classroom thank you guys again so much for watching and don't forget work hard play hard see you next time